Sullivan. I work here at City Kitchen. I'm one of the commercial field chefs for City Serve. And I'd just like to present to you today uh, just a little bit about our uh, breakfast and our fizzy drinks and how much sugar we're actually consuming in these drinks as well. So I'd like to ask you all if you've all had breakfast today. Put your hand up if you've had breakfast. Thank you. Fantastic. So breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Why is it the most important meal of the day? Energy. Energy, brilliant, yeah. So um, what we don't uh, sometimes look at is uh, breakfast cereals, how much sugar they contain, so and how little portion you should be serving yourself. So on average, and, uh, a portion of breakfast cereal should roughly be about 40 grams which is this pot. So it's a very small amount of, um, of breakfast cereal. So, you know, if you're sat at the table with your children and you say, right, tip in your own breakfast, so you tip it all in, you get a big volcano, it all goes all over the table, and you end up with a lot more. So, just as a, an example, this is probably the most healthiest one I've got here. And in this 40 gram portion, there's four teaspoons of sugar. So in that amount of breakfast cereal, there's lots of sugar. So I think when we're eating breakfast cereal, we've got to stick to the portions if we can, or do an alternative, as in porridge, Weetabix, might be a little, little bit more healthier. Because in our beloved cocoa pops, which we've got here, we've got in our 40 gram portion of co cocoa pops, we've got 16 teaspoons of sugar which, and you, you know, that looks like absolutely nothing, doesn't it? So I think when children are doing their own servings of breakfast cereal, they pour in a lot more than that. <laughs> so that's just a little insight of to sugar that we're consuming throughout the day that we don't actually know about. And a child between seven and 11, um, seven years and 11 years, should probably have on average about between six and seven teaspoons of sugar a day. So it, we are consuming a lot more sugar than um, we like to uh, think about. Just a little quick as well, as well, we'll do the packet of crisps and the chocolate bar. Um, I know this is probably not onto the, uh, the fizzy drinks, but I'll just tell you. So in here, in our Mars bar, we've got 334 calories. So if we ate this, to burn this off, we would have to probably run for about two hours. At a, at a substantial speed to get rid of um, these calories from consuming this. Also the crisps as well, are about 169 calories. So we would have to probably dance for about half an hour, swim for about an hour or so. So we've got lots, lots of things to think about when we're consuming things that are quick to eat. Um, you know, we're, we're actually taking in a lot of sugar. So let's move on to our drinks as well. So the most healthiest drink that we know of is water and it's absolutely free. Now I know some of you might say that, um, you know, it's not free, my mum and dad have to actually pay for it, which they do in a roundabout way. But it comes out of tap free, doesn't it? We don't have to pay from the shop, do we? So that's our water and it's the most important thing. And if we were gonna take away any drinks at all, we would stick with water because that's the most important. So we've also got some other drinks here as well, which, you know, if we're going to the shop and we don't want to have fizzy drinks, you know, nan or granddad, mom and dad, may buy us a juice. Oh, it's more healthy, you know, it's freshly squeezed. But these little cartons here are come from concentrate. So there's all sorts of things added to them and they're not pure juice, they're not actually squeezed juice. And in here we have, uh, in the apple juice alone, in here, we have six and a half teaspoons of sugar in this little carton here, and that's what it looks like. Not lump paper, but that's what it looks like. So we are actually consuming lots of sugar, and that's before we even get onto the fizzy drinks, because we really shouldn't be having fizzy drinks because they're not really that good for us. There's lots of other things in fizzy drinks that um, are really bad for us. Lots of caffeine, for instance, 
and caffeine is another whole story to talk about. So um, we've got lots of things here. I've got, you know, the actual calories for and the sugar content in them. But I can also give you some quite frightening facts about some of these fizzy drinks. So this one is not too bad actually. Um, fruit shoot. Robinsons did a lot of research into their drinks and they discovered that people weren't buying these fruit shoots. So they took a lot of sugar out, so that's only got a half a teaspoon in. But if you were a teenage child, you wouldn't want to be seen walking out the shop with a fruit shoot, would you? And too much for your street cred. <laughs> so, um, but that's one of the healthier ones. Also, a lot of people like fizzy water because it's water, yeah, it's fantastic. That's what we should be drinking. But also this water has got lots of other added sugars into it and it's, it's fizzy as well, which, well, this one's still actually, but you can get it fizzy. And we think by it being water, it's still healthy, but it's got a flavour to it. But it has actually got about five teaspoons of sugar in there. So um, it's not bright for us, is it really? So we'll go on to this one. So this is a nice fizzy bottle of pop. This is usually what's in the supermarkets, two for one pound twenty. So no, we can get two for our money. We don't want to just have one. So in here, even though it looks all healthy and it's got the little berries on it, um, you know, it is a fizzy drink, which um, is also not great for us. And just in this one, and also around this bottle of pop as well, there's lots of kiddie friendly marketing where you would see this on an advert on the television where they would say um, oh you know the Ribena berries are jumping down the road and into the basket and and they would sell it as a healthy drink but not as it, it is fizzy pop which we want to get away from which you know we need to substitute with water in here in this little bottle of pop alone is 12 and a half teaspoons of sugar which um, looks a bit like that, which is a lot more. So if you, if you consider that a child between the ages of 7 and 11 should only consume between 6 and 7 teaspoons of sugar a day, it's an awful lot of sugar, isn't it, to... Because um, we've, we've gone past breakfast and we will probably have these mid-morning. Now we'll go on to the really tricky one. So Coca-Cola. I have lots of children say to me, oh, it's a treat, it's a weekend treat. I can have Coke at, at the weekends. Well, yeah, you can, but there's so much caffeine in here and lots of other nasties that you just better stay away from it, really, because it is so bad. I can actually tell you, this is what I tell um, a lot of pupils in schools, as I visit schools, is um, this is a really good cleaning product because if you put this in your toilet, it will actually clean your toilet and it'll get rid of the lime scale. Now, usually all the children at this point go, well, what's a lime scale? They can't actually see it, but it really does um, clean your toilet. And just as an added fact, what we can tell you is there's nine teaspoons of sugar in this bottle of, of fizzy drink. So, we really need to get away from fizzy drinks full stop and, um, and choose healthier options as in water and maybe a treat occasionally. Now we'll go on to the real nasties. So this one <laughs> is really bad and I don't know um, if this is just sold to over 16s. Uh, it possibly could be, couldn't it? So if, if anybody in primary school or secondary school are drinking this, then it really needs to be um, flagged up. Because this drink here has got so much caffeine in it and so many nasties, it's, it's unbelievable. And caffeine is really not good for us. It makes our heart racer and um, it does all sorts of strange things to us. Um, so, this is a real no-no. If, if anybody says, oh, I'll buy you this, or this looks nice, or it's got a nice colour on the can, I, I think we need to stay away from it, really. And just to top it off, it has got 14 and a half teaspoons of sugar in it. 
which is really not good. So, and then we've also got this one, which if I drink this bottle of fizzy drink, it will make me run faster. I can get round the racetrack faster. If I go to play football after school, I'll be really good. And this is, you know, what I need to drink because it will help me get round. Because it says here, yeah, it gives me energy, you know. And this bottle of fizzy pop will do so much for me. Well, in fact, it won't do nothing for you because it's got so much sugar in it. You'll have a sugar rush. And then um, when it's wore off after 20 minutes, you'll feel really, really tired and really drained. And it's also got lots of caffeine in it, and which is also not good for us as well. So this is a definite fizzy drink that is a no-go for anybody really. And just another startling fact, for this bottle of Lucaside, we've got 16 teaspoons of sugar. So if anybody says to you, oh come on, I'll buy a Lucaside. You know, it can make you run faster or whatever, you know. And if you're as old as me, with white hair, we used to get bought this when we were poorly at home or sick. And mums and dads would say to us, oh, you can have leukocyte because you're not very well. Well, in actual fact, it's really bad for us. Not only is it fizzy, it's got lots of sugar, lots of caffeine, and um, it's not right. So that's just my little chat today. About lots of things about fizzy drinks and really why we, sh we shouldn't be having fizzy drinks and you know supermarkets and shops will market them that they're cheap if you buy two but think about obviously the fizziness of it which is not good for us and also the sugar content and you know we've got water it's free it's out the tap you can fill up any bottle you don't need to buy it from a supermarket so I'll just leave you with those thoughts today.